Today we're going to jump back in time around 2,500 years ago to ancient Greece to see what life was like back then. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's go! Ancient Greece was in southern eastern Europe near the Mediterranean Sea and the Algean Sea. The first thing I found out when I landed here was that the Greeks called themselves Hellenes and the land was called Hellas. The name Greeks was actually given to them later by the Romans. Their daily life in ancient Greece was a lot like our lives today, well, without mobile phones, computers, televisions or electricity, but they did live in big cities where they went to school, played games and they could also go out to watch plays. Going to the theatre was a big part of Greek life. They built theatres into a hillside where the public could sit along the hills and watch. Some were so big that they could sit tens of thousands of people. The Greeks also played lots of sports and they even created the Olympic Games. Back then it was a religious festival dedicated to Zeus and happened every four years for over 1,000 years. They even invented one of my favourite toys, the yo-yo, which is considered to be the second oldest toy in the world after the doll. The Greeks believed in lots of different gods and that every part of their lives was ruled by a different god. To keep the gods happy, they built temples and shrines like these ones where they could worship them. How many of these gods do you know? Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war. Hermes, the messenger of the gods. Poseidon, the god of the sea. Hades, the god of the underworld. Aphrodite, the goddess of love. And Zeus, the king of the gods. The Greeks loved to learn. They believed that learning was one of the best ways you could spend your time. And they were famous for developing philosophy, which is the art of thinking. In fact, the most famous philosophers of history, Socrates, Plato and Aristotle, were all Greeks. Exercise was also extremely important to the Greeks though. The last few years of a boy's education would usually be spent working on their health and preparing them for war. There were lots of cities in ancient Greece called polises. The two most powerful ones were Athens and Sparta. Sparta was focused on war and how to fight, while Athens focused on the arts and learning. Speaking of art, ancient Greece was full of different types of art. They decorated almost every part of their lives, from their buildings and city streets to the inside of their homes. Many things in Greek life were created with the idea of making it look beautiful, from paintings, buildings, sculptures, literature, and much more. Ancient Greek literature was so important that children all over the world still learn about Greek myths, heroes, and monsters like the Minotaur you can see here. Getting a meal in ancient Greece was easy and delicious. Vegetables were a huge part of the Greek diet. Most Greeks were almost vegetarian. The most important food was the olive. It wasn't just food, but also a big part of Greek history. They believed that the goddess Athena gave the first olive tree to Athens before it eventually spread to the rest of Greece. The ancient Greeks were great thinkers, warriors, writers, actors, athletes, artists, architects and politicians. Let's talk about some of the most famous ancient Greeks. Archimedes was one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. He calculated the value of pi. Alexander the Great was king of Macedonia. Alexander and his army conquered the entire Mediterranean region. Alexander taught all the people he conquered about ancient Greece and helped spread their culture. Aristotle was a scientist and philosopher who thought that the earth was a globe and that it revolved around the sun. Everyone thought he was crazy. But we now know that he was right. Homer wrote two of the most important pieces of ancient Greek literature. No, not that Homer. No! Homer's Ilad and Homer's Odyssey. Ancient Greece came to an end when it became part of the Roman Empire in 146 BC. They couldn't have been doing too badly though, as the Romans copied a lot of the Greeks' culture, like their gods, language, and even how they ate. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Until next time, have a lovely day.